Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the boot order of your BIOS. This tutorial is not going to be specifically showing applications you'd be doing this with. We're just showing the process of changing the boot order. So if you want to boot from a CD or USB as opposed to the hard drive, you could do it this way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to restart our computer. Now while the computer is restarting, we have to click on a key on our keyboard to launch the BIOS settings. Now depending on your computer manufacturer, it could be a few different keyboard shortcuts. The most typical one is the F2 key, but I've also seen the escape and delete key used as well. Sometimes if your computer is booting up and you see something along the bottom of the screen that says press this key to enter setup, just click that key and that will get you to where we are going to go for the next step but I'm going to be tapping on the F2 key. That is usually the most common keyboard shortcut to get into the BIOS. You can go online to look up specific keys for your motherboard manufacturer. I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to scroll down to the enter setup selection. And now I'm going to tap on the enter key on my keyboard. So now we've entered the BIOS. So using the arrow keys on my keyboard, I'm going to scroll over to the boot tab. So now if you want to move one of these entries up or down the list, you can just click the plus or minus key on your keyboard. So let's say I want the CD-ROM drive to be the first item to boot. I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to go down to the CD-ROM drive. And then using the plus symbol on my keyboard, I'm going to click it and we see that it is slowly moving up on the list. And I'm going to click it one more time and we see CD-ROM drive is the first drive to boot. So in order to save these settings, I'm going to click on F10. Save configuration changes and exit now. Before I click on enter to accept, I do want to let you know you can reverse these changes to default settings at a later date if you want to. Just follow the shortcuts on the bottom of the BIOS to reset the settings at a later date again if you want to. So save configuration changes and exit now. I'm going to click on enter for yes and the computer will boot from the CD if you have one inserted. If there is no CD inserted in the computer or whatever your primary boot device is it'll automatically go to the next item in the list to boot off of. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.